This is A History of the Trumpet, and I'm Mike Malloy. Today I have the remainder of a program I began last week, taken from a Hughes Hall faculty recital presented by Richard Burkhardt. We'll hear four Baroque works featuring from two to six trumpets. Later, we'll hear from the Philip Jones Brass Ensemble of England, the Eastman Brass Quintet, and more from Edward Tarr, whom you happen to be listening to at the moment. Dr. Richard Burkhardt presented with some help a concert of music for trumpet and percussion, old and new, on April 22nd of this year. The first half featured contemporary music, music by Donald Erb, David Van Vactor, and William Kraft. The first work, Diversion for Two, Other Than Sex, by Donald Erb, featured one of Dr. Burkhardt's former students, Scott Johnston, and percussionist Scott Prebys both of whom are members of the faculty at Lawrence Conservatory of Music in Appleton, Wisconsin. The second work, Five Etudes for Solo Trumpet, was for trumpet alone and was played by Dr. Burkhardt. The first half concluded with the two Scots performing together, Encounters Three, Duel for Trumpet and Percussion by William Kraft. After intermission, there were works by Antonio Vivaldi, Giovanni Lagrenzi, Anton Höfner, Samuel Scheidt, and Heinrich Ignaz Franz von Bieber. Last week, there was only time for the first half and the concerto for two trumpets by Vivaldi taken from the second half. Today, we'll continue where we left off last week. And that is Sonata La Buscia by the Italian Giovanni Lagrenzi. It was originally for two cornetti, bassoon, strings, and continuo. Cornetti are wooden instruments wrapped in leather and played with a combination of woodwind finger technique and brass type sound production. They were highly popular in the Renaissance and for a while also during the Baroque, having been for some time considered a virtuoso instrument, at least equal to, if not sometimes superior to, the violin. Eventually, the violin, being much more flexible with a far greater range, won out. Dr. Burkhardt and Scott Johnston played Lagrenzi's Sonata La Buscia on modern piccolo trumpets, and they added considerable ornamentation. They were assisted by Cynthia Gady, bassoon, Linda Shea, cello, and Sam Peebles, harpsichord.
Sonata La Boucha by Giovanni Lagrenzi. Professor Richard Burkhardt and Scott Johnston playing piccolo trumpets. Bassoonist Cynthia Gady, cellist Linda Shea, and harpsichordist Sam Peebles. For the Sonata in C by Anton Höfner, the continuo players were retained, but the trumpet players and instruments were changed. No one knows anything about Anton Höfner as yet, and the publisher indicates that this piece is the only one by Höfner known to exist. During the spring quarter of this year, Dr. Burkhardt had two students of Baroque trumpets, myself and Gerald Hextra. Jerry just finished work on his Ph.D. in music history. He played on an instrument made by Meinl and Lauber, a copy of one made by Hans Heinlein in 1632. I also played an instrument made by Meinl and Lauber, but mine is a copy of one made in 1747 by Johann Leonhard Ea III. Here's the sonata in C by Anton Höfner. <laughs> Thank you. 
Sonata in C by Anton Höfner. Myself and Gerald Hextra playing copies of Baroque trumpets, Cynthia Gady playing bassoon, cellist Linda Shea, and harpsichordist Sam Peebles. You're listening to a faculty recital given in Hughes Hall Auditorium on the OSU campus by Dr. Richard Burkhardt. He called his recital a concert of music for trumpet and percussion, old and new. The final two works on the program were played by ensembles of trumpets. Samuel Scheitz, Canzone Cornetto, written around 1621, was for four cornetti, but is played here by Dr. Burkhardt, Scott Johnston, Professor Thomas Battenberg, and Stephen Emery. Canzone Cornetto by Samuel Scheidt. Dr. Richard Burkhardt, Scott Johnston, Professor Thomas Battenberg, and Stephen Emery playing modern trumpets. For the final work on this recital, this ensemble was augmented by trumpeters Alan Dudek and James Powell, also percussionist Scott Prebys. Heinrich von Bieber, while best known as a virtuoso violinist, being one of the first to experiment with scordatura, intentional retuning of certain strings for spectacular virtuoso effect, wrote a number of works for trumpets, either in choirs of trumpets, such as this piece, or solo or duo trumpets with strings. Sonata for Six Trumpets in Timpani by Heinrich von Bieber is now performed by an ensemble of trumpeters at Ohio State University, led by Dr. Richard Burkhardt.
Sonata for Six Trumpets and Timpani by Heinrich von Bieber. Performed by trumpeters Dr. Richard Burkhardt, Scott Johnston, Professor Thomas Battenberg, Stephen Emery, Alan Dudek, and James Powell. And also timpanist Scott Prebys. With this brilliant piece, Dr. Burkhardt concluded his faculty recital, a concert of music for trumpet and percussion, old and new. The Hughes Hall recording engineer for this recital was Lee Emsminger. In the time remaining, we'll hear music by Schutz, Scheidt, and Fantini. Heinrich Schutz studied with Giovanni Gabrieli in Venice. At about 1630, he set Psalm 24 in polychoral scoring of the Venetian manner. The splendor of the opening is a fine tribute to the glories of Venice. This performance is by the Purcell Chorus of Voices and the Philip Jones Brass Ensemble with additional unidentified instrumentalists all led by Raymond Lepard. <laughs>
Psalm 24 by Heinrich Schutz. The Purcell Chorus of Voices and the Philip Jones Brass Ensemble and other anonymous instrumentalists led by Raymond Lepard. From the finest English brass ensemble, we now venture back to this country for performance by the Eastman Brass Quintet. The music is by Samuel Scheidt, Canzona Bergamasca, and it's particularly suitable for modern transcription for brass instruments.
Zona Bergamasca by Samuel Scheidt. This performance was by the Eastman Brass Quintet. In the time remaining, I'll present two very brief sonatas for trumpet and organ by Gelamo Fantini. Fantini was born around 1600, and the music that you'll be listening to was taken from his 1638 publication, Method of Learning to Play the Trumpet. Fantini was more of a performer than a composer, as I'm sure you'll notice, both pieces are less than three minutes long each. The method of learning to play the trumpet contained some of the earliest music published for trumpet and organ, including eight sonatas. There are numerous dances, courtly dances, to be played by Baroque trumpet, perhaps with harpsichord instead of organ. In this recording, you'll hear trumpeter musicologist Edward Tarr. He performs on an early Baroque trumpet, a copy of an instrument, made by Hans Heinlein and copied by Meinl and Lauber. The organist is George Kent, and the recording was made at the village church in Arosa, Switzerland.
Sonata Number no. Three in C for trumpet and organ, Detta del Nicolini, and Sonata Number no. Eight in C for trumpet and organ, Detta del Nero, by Gelamo Fantini. Edward Tarr performed on an early Baroque trumpet, and the organist was George Kent. Today I have brought you portions of a recital given by Dr. Richard Burkhardt of the OSU School of Music. And then we heard music by Schutz, Fantini, and Scheidt. Next week is the last in this series, A History of the Trumpet, but the week following that I'm beginning a new series titled Early Music. In that series I hope to present music from the medieval, renaissance, and baroque periods. And of course that does include trumpet music, but a whole lot more too. Join me again next week for the final History of the Trumpet program and in two weeks for the first of early music. I'm Mike Malloy. Have a pleasant week. <laughs>